Hey everyone, how's it going? I have another tutorial video for you today. This will be following on after my last F5 video, which was the cold start tutorial. This one's going to be um, taxi and takeoff in the F5. So we'll get right into that. The only control you're really going to need, obviously, your rudder pedals or um, rudder keybinds and your nose wheel steering button. Um, so we'll just go ahead and we'll contact ATC, see if they'll respond. Concealed. One, one. Request startup had an issue a little bit ago where I wasn't getting response from this tower, even though I'm on the right frequency. There we go. Clear for taxi to runway. Request taxi to runway. Disconnect to ground air. Disconnect air supply. By the body. Copy. Ground air supply is now disconnected. So we're going to taxi to the runway. Um, first, I'm going to check the. We want to check what our rotate speed is going to be. So we're at about seventeen and a half thousand pounds here. Uh, so we'll, we're, our rotate speed is going to be about one hundred and sixty-six knots. There's a table for this in the Chuck's Guides manual. I will leave a link to that in the description. Um, it's in the taxi and takeoff section. So we're going to be aiming for about one hundred and sixty-six knots when we rotate. But now we're going to. Tax forward. Coming up here, we're going to press and hold our nose wheel steering button as we turn. Make sure your flaps are set to auto or full, which is what they will be in if they're in auto, as you can see our indicator right here. Make sure you have your pitch trim set for what we need. We're pretty light, so we just have it set to about six, six and a half. Line up right on center line. We'll stop here. What you can do if you are kind of heavy, I'd like to do this anyway, is um, you can do, I will just tell you what that key point is real quick, um, the nose strut switch, retract, and extend. So we extend that. You can see it pitches up, kind of the opposite of what the Tomcat does. It gives us a bit better angle of attack, so it's we can rotate at a lower speed. We'll start spooling up to mill. To get there, check our RPMs, release brakes, go into burner, you might need those with steering, be engaged just a little bit to keep track of that center line. Speeding up here, we can release that because our rudder is effective now. Looking for 166 knots. Go, smoothly ease back on the stick, rotate, airborne, gear coming up. I like to trim it out here, maintain my climb. I have a burner. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully, you found this video helpful, informative, etc. If it was, you know, maybe consider leaving a like, maybe subscribing. I really appreciate that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, requests for videos, anything like that, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, yeah, so I hope you have a good one, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.